Bumblebee zoomed through the neon canyons of Cybertron. His shining yellow paintwork glimmered beneath the twin suns, making him stand out from the smooth silver and blue of most Autobots. He wasn't the greatest or most grounded, but Bumblebee was the quickest scout around. Nowadays, his mission was straightforward, discover his companions, the Autobots, and report back on Decepticon activity. Suddenly, his radio crackled. Bumblebee, this is Optimus Prime. We've recognized Decepticon warships heading towards Earth. Earth? Bumblebee knew it, a little blue planet, way out in the distant corners of space. Why would the Decepticons be interested in such a place? Reaching the base, he found the scene a mess. Harmed Autobots bumbled around, and Optimus Prime, their shrewd pioneer, stood tall, his confront bleak. Bumblebee, he boomed over the noise, get out of here. Caution the others on Earth. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. Bumblebee didn't need to take off. He needed to battle nearby his companions, but Optimus's arrange was clear. With an overwhelming heart, he changed. In a streak of yellow light, Bumblebee got to be a smooth Chevrolet Camaro, prepared for a high-speed escape. But clearing out wasn't simple. Decepticon warriors swooped down, lasers impacting at him. Bumblebee evaded and weaved, his motor thundering as he pushed the Camaro to its limits. He scarcely overseen to slip past a bulky Decepticon warship, its gigantic cannons crackling with energy. Just when it appeared like there was no elude, a blinding light wrapped Bumblebee. He felt himself being pulled, extended, squeezed, at that point everything went dark. When Bumblebee stirred, his sensors were overburdened. The disgust noticed interesting, a blend of earth and blooms. He attempted to change, but a shock of torment shot through his body. He was damaged. Struggling, Bumblebee overseen to look out from beneath the destruction. He wasn't on Cybertron any longer. Towering green things, not at all like anything he'd ever seen, influenced around him. Unusual animals with two legs and delicate hide dashed approximately, making uproarious squeaking commotions. Soil. He was on Earth. Bumblebee's start, the center of his being, flashed with stress. Where were the Autobots? Where were the Decepticons? Misplaced and alone on an unusual planet, Bumblebee knew one thing for beyond any doubt, he had to discover his companions. And possibly, fair perhaps, he may indeed learn to like this interesting and used put called Earth.